G'day guys, welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. This is Casual Kiwi, up for episode 33 now. Don't forget to go ahead and smash that like button um, if you enjoy. Um, this episode, we are getting... Get away dog! Sorry, the dog's interrupting there. Uh, got a bloody great Alsatian German Shepherd, big old fella. Um, this episode, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things um, before we try and figure out what we're going to do power-wise. Uh, so in here, we have still got our resonant solar panel cranking away um, it's taking for freaking ever one of the main problems was i forgot that these guys i thought i had set them like the end.io machines where you could import and uh, where are we um, import and export out of the same hole same surface which you cannot do with uh, these guys as far as i know so i had to put some import buses on the bottom uh, export buses, sorry, yeah, import buses, export buses, import buses to the ME system, export out the bottom of the machine, import through the, um, what, Jumahangi, um, interface into the top, and, um, now it's all working, so my crafting was getting hung up on that, and it took me forever to try and figure out what the hell I'd done wrong, but eventually we got there by disconnecting cables, disconnecting the ME system, finding out I thought I might have gone over on channels on something, but no, I was just being a derp. But we got there we got there in the end okay so that's all done that's up and running it's still doing its thing it's the next day so i've had my machine on my computer on for quite a while running this but it's just taking forever because these guys um need some upgrades put in them and things like that but if i do that it's going to suck my power dry we're in a real sort of debacle power wise so what i'm thinking is i really really want to run the whole base with solar power eventually because if we look in here and go solar um, these guys here from solar expansion are some very nice solar panels like this one here creates 4096 RF per tick but it requires eight of these guys that we're making at the moment so it's going to need a hang of a lot of resources and then this guy here require, uh, generates 32,000 RF per tick excuse me so one of those is going to keep us going for eternity basically um, so if we can get one of them up and running then it's going to supply all of our power needs. It, it is horrendous. It also holds, a, it's got a capacity of 32 million RF, per, RF internally in the solar panel. It is tremendous. So I'm working towards getting these advanced ones for now. We've got resonant, heading towards advanced, and then we want an ultimate. Um, but in the meantime, I what I have, why can't I get out of there? What I have done is we have gone across here and it's sort of keeping us running in the meantime. I've gone ahead and made, oh, I, any of those would have done, some blizz powder and got the cryo flux, cryo coil flux amplifiers for these dynamos. Now these guys are creating 640 RF per tick each, but we're still not filling up on power. We're using a butt ton of power at the moment. So, oh, what are they? They're called, the, no, just an augment. So we'll have a look at those augments and of course it's uh, this guy here now this guy here requires silver ingots some more silver some redstone and some cryothium dust cryothium dust is actually really really easy to make i've never made it before well, had never made it before until now basically you need blizz powder a snowball some nitre or saltpeter and some redstone now i had all of this stuff except for the red uh, the snowball and the blizz powder in my um, inventory so I went and found some snow just dig it up with a shovel and the blizz powder if you search through here is just a snowball with the stabilized redstone in it so really really simple to make um, boom we're back here we want a snowball we've got 66 of them here we'll grab a couple and we want some redstone which we've got a bunch of there like so now i think it's two redstone per snowball so if we put a snowball in there and then one two of those in there it's going to transfer across and then boom pumps it into this guy and we get ourselves some blizz powder nice and easy we're going to put one more snowball in there because i seem to have why have i got water in there because i oh crud didn't mean to do that can i do that Um, what can I do with that? How do I get rid of my water? It's 100, 200 in there. Hmm, hmm, can I just break that machine? Does that get rid of it? 
boom. I hope this gets rid of it. Gets rid of it. I didn't realize I'd done that. Ah, it did. Fantastic. So 200, and if we put a snowball in there, boom, we get ourselves another piece of blizz powder. Uh, just be aware, I haven't got my timer running again. Cock that up. Um, was, to be fair, I was actually having a beer. Um, so, if we run long or short, I do apologise. Um, the next thing I wanted to look at real quick, because we can't really get to the power. I'm trying to get these solar panels made. This guy's honking away, doing his thing, uh, but it's waiting on the refined iron to turn into steel nuggets. So it's just waiting on this guy. Yet again, lack of power of hold is holding us up. So, we've got some other things I want to carry on with, and it involves these barrels and storage buses. So what I really, really want to do is go ahead and we want to get some upgrades for the barrels. And we want to transfer some stuff down into them. So we want to look at the Jabber mod. Jabber, just another bloody barrel is what that stands for. Now the upgrades I'm looking for is this guy, the Void upgrade. So that uses two slots, which is fine. Uh, but we want to keep a constant amount of items in these barrels and then anything over that we want to void. And this is going to be for our limestone, our gravel, um, all of these good things. So at the moment we've got 128 stacks of gravel which is fine and that is on, I think that's the second. Where, where how do we tell? I, I know there's a way, I think it's you hold the, the mallet or whatever against it. That guy there is the iron one. It's probably this one here. If we were to put a limestone in that guy, it would probably be the way to go about it. Uh, but we want to make these void upgrades anyway. Jabba, these guys. And can we make those? One, two. Two? Two is probably sufficient for now. And then we want to head downstairs. Can we put that in there? Boom. Not enough upgrade slots, so we need the iron one, I think. Boom. Right, so we're on the wooden one now. We want the second tier one, two of those. Slots provided three, so that should give us enough to whack. So shift right click on there, shift right click on there, and we should be able to go boom like that so that has now got the void upgrade on it so any more gravel that goes into it is just going to void which is fan freaking fantastic now what we're wanting to do is take that guy off put on an export bus and then in that export bus we want to put a piece of gravel and we want to add an acceleration card now from our inventory upstairs we should see our gravel starting to go down should which it is it's going down slowly but that's fine that's all we need for now um do we have any more acceleration cards acc acceleration cards can we make we can make two more of those say so. fan freaking tastic now if we head downstairs into where are we this guy chuck in a couple more of them boom why is that not going in that should have got rid of it now now that should have cleaned out our inventory of gravel blooming there entirely. It has. Okay, so that is saying that there is no gravel. It is disappearing as it comes in. Fan freaking tastic. So what we want to do now real quick is just take that guy off so that we make sure that there is no gravel in the system. We want to grab our import bus we want to put down our storage bus, make sure that connects. Flunk connected. And then we just want to make sure that it is set to, oh, not what we want to do, set to gravel. And then we want to make sure that priority is higher than the um, everything else, higher than the ME system. So that is done. Boom, throw that back in there. And then we should be able to throw our import bus, export bus input bus on there and I think there's a couple of cards in that and that should be doing its thing so now we should only have 8192 gravel in our system and that's all it should ever get to 8192 never gonna climb any higher because the 
Um, storage bus downstairs has the highest priority, so it will only ever send it to that barrel, and once it gets there, it gets voided because we've already got 8,192 of them. So, fan freaking test. Excuse me, I'm just going to have a drink of my drink. Lovely. Okay, so we want to do that with a couple of other things. One of them being limestone, so I've got a bunch of limestone here, because we've got 20,000 limestone, or almost 20,000 limestone, and I'm never going to use it. I don't actually like the look of it for most things, so I'm thinking if we just set it up exactly the same downstairs that we have 8 odd thousand of it, it should be more than freaking enough. More than enough. Okay, so this guy here, we want to boom that on that guy, so that should have that on it now. Um, structural level 2, zero upgrade slots available. Then we want to just get rid of one of those. Get that stack in there. We want to remove that and put down our export bus. In our export bus we want to put that in there and a bunch of those. Now that should be filling with limestone. And we should see Yep, it's disappearing. 18,000, 17,000 shortly, it's doing its thing. So we're just going to do the exact same with that, let it filter out. Um, we'll check and see if our solar panel is made. It is not. Um, holy crap, did I just see we've got a butt ton of these cores made? Why have we got, excuse me, why have we got so many of those cores? Holy moly. So we should almost be able to make a second one of those solar panels pretty much straight away. It's going to be the glass and the hmm, steel, I think, that will hold us up on that. But you never do know. Okay, that is full of a limestone and is voiding the rest quite quickly. So that's cool. It's doing its thing. We just need to swap it over in a second once this ME system gets completely empty of it. Um, how is that guy come, actually coming along? That's got 4,000 in it, so it's not going to take too long. And here, oh, oh, it's like just finished. Solar. We have one, a resonant solar panel. Nice. Okay, let's go throw this guy on the roof and um, see if it fixes our power worries. Oh, 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 oh. God, don't blow up, you stupid creeper. Especially not near my lovely solar panels up here. Boom. I don't know why Whaler does not show the power supply of these things at this stage. Like, my cables don't show it either. Sometimes they do. Seems to flicker... Hmm. It flicks in there and then disappears. I don't know what's going on there. But we will... Oh, fly. We will duck into our power room. And... Yeah, see, that's not showing either. It's, it really bugs me. We're not seeing any power anywhere. I, I don't know whether there's a fault that it's not showing up. And whether we actually are out of power. Or whether it's just... A silly thing. So like this is filling up with 400 RF per tick now. So that's filling up quite quickly. Um, oh, that went down. 155. Something's using some power somewhere. But still, it's still going up. So that's fine. So maybe our power is going out somewhere. We've got another one of those. Oh, goddamn near the cats. With the cats, whatever they're called. Hate them. Hate them with a passion. There's another one of those guys. Where did I put it? Is it in here? No, no it is not. I think it's upstairs behind behind here somewhere. We'll check this one out. Where's our pick? And we'll see how much power that got. So that guy's full. It's got three RF protect. Okay, so we're definitely filling up on power. Hmm. I wonder if now that those are filled, if this guy's gonna start to fill up. Apparently not. So is it all going to the quarry? We might turn that off. Boom. Two, three thousand, three thousand eight hundred 3,800 RF per tick coming in. So yes, it's all going to the quarry. 
Okay, so that is cool. Boom. Check. Now there is minus 1200 RF per tick. Minus 15. So the, the query can use a hang of a lot. So I could actually max output that to like a, a, a couple of thousand. No, that's not going to work. I'd have to output only one side. I wonder if you can do that. I could probably put a smaller cable so that only so much goes out to the quarry, but that seems kind of pointless. I want my quarry to run fast. Um, but okay, we, we've got a butt ton more power, and we can probably build and can we build another one of those solar panels? Um, can we make one more of those next? Apparently, we can. So we've already got. 1500 of those available. We've got those available. Available six. We'd have to make a butt ton more steel. Um, but we can actually do it. So, bugger it. Let, let's, let's do that. One. Next. Start. Okay. So that's making another one. It's going to be, I'm guessing, crafting stuff here. Which it is and crafting pulverized iron. Fantastic. It's doing its thing. It's making another one of these guys. It's stored a bunch more stuff out of the system. Very, very cool. Okay, so that may well solve our power worries. Um, we should have only 8,000 something limestone in here now. Or oh, no limestone actually. Why have we got one? That guy can stay in there. He's fine. That guy cannot. We should have no limestone in there now. Boom. So we want to disconnect this guy again just to ensure that we have none of voila. And then the limestone, we want to take that off. Put our storage bus on again. Make sure the priority is set to 100. Limestone. And escape that guy. Cool. And then we want our import bus back on here. And one, two of you. Everything is fine and dandy. That should have its um, yeah, zero slots available. Okay, so what else have we got left that we need to do to tidy the system up? Um, we've got the gravel store. We've got a ton of diorite, but um, that's okay. We've got a heap of marble, but I don't know. We're we going to use that much marble, or should we just keep 8,000 on hand? It probably wouldn't hurt just to keep 8,000 marble on hand, would it? This is relieving a bit of pressure off our system. We've still got two cards that are completely full, though. Um, I'm guessing it's... Holy moly, that's a lot of iron. I'm guessing it... How did I do that with just arrows? Oh. No, it's not arrows, it's S and W. <sighs> okay, having a drink. Excuse me. Okay, so I'm thinking we probably want to do this with the marble, the diorite, the andesite, and the granite. Um, just to keep everything at that around that 8,000 mark, because I'm sure that is more than enough of what we need. Um... The likes of the coal, the redstone and things, we always want a butt ton of that. So, not too concerned about it. Flint, maybe. We've only got 3,700. We could probably upgrade all of our storage just to 64Ks. Because we have got... Um, we're all 16s. So we could dismantle some of those, make some more 16s. These, these top ones, we can make them all 16s and solve, solve an issue. Uh, but at this stage, I think that we are okay. Okay, now what are we doing? We're waiting on this guy. He's going to be a while. Scheduled 120 refined irons. So he's doing his thing in here as he was 10 minutes ago for the last one. Making his thing, doing his thing, working fine and dandy. Okay, so this power's going down again. We still haven't got enough power to run our quarry non-stop and have all these machines going even with 3000 odd RF per tick but all these machines are going as well 
that's at 45 stacks. When that's got another 15 odd stacks on there, 20 stacks, um, that's going to be fine. So I'm guessing it's just taking a butt ton. 64 of 64. So we've got a full um, smooth stone barrel. 6 of 64 of sand. So this is just taking a long time because it, it's doubling up. It's going through both. Um, that is fine. So what, what could we do to speed that up? We could... We need to speed up this redstone furnace, don't we? Hmm. Excuse me, it seems to be the slow point. It's going to put more drain on our power as a thing. Um, can we throw an augment in there? We need the modular framework. We don't need redstone control. Um, automated output. Reconfigurable sides. Yes, we want both of those. Okay, so we could get rid of the redstone. We could put one upgrade in the furnace. Hmm, okay, let's look at doing that just to speed things up a little bit and then I know it's going to set power for a start but once it has done its furnacing it will um, make things better in the end. Machine processing level 1, 2 times speed, 50% energy use. So we want one of them. Have we got one of them? So what is it? Augment secondary gearbox. No, we don't. We've got a bunch of augments but not the ones we want. Kaflunk. Of course, we don't have a reception coil. That's fine. Kaflunk, kaflunk, one of you. Nice. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So we should whoop, be able to throw this guy. We don't want to configure with redstone in there. And that, by rights, should be working faster. Don't know if it is. Okay, can we judge that? Does not appear to be. Secondary reception coil. Machine processing level one. Ah, requires a hardened machine. Okay, so we can probably make that a hardened machine. So to make a hardened machine, we require, I think it's a signalum gear and some minva, I wanna say? Okay, um, furnace. We want the redstone furnace. We want to make it upgrade. We want to make it a hardened. So we need an electrum gear and an invite and get boom. Of course, we don't have any electrum. Okay, electrum. We need oh, two more next start. And then how much invar do we have? Invar, we have one. Okay, so we need to make, we need to wait for that to finish, I guess. Boom, boom, must be done already. Um, Electrum, we've got those. Boom, boom, Electrum gear. And then we need Inva. We're going to need one, two, three of you. Start. Should be doing its thing and... Somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. That was fast. How was that so fast? I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay. Furnace. A fur and I. Many furnaces. Okay. Kaflunk. And then we just need to snaggle this guy here. Flunk. Boom. Cool, grab him, come up in here, and chuck you there like so. Gives us a hardened furnace, lovely. Oh, missed the door. Then we should be able to shove that there. Our side's still configured, apparently. Are they, are they? They are, lovely, yes. And now we should be able to, in the Augments tab, oh look at that, we can leave redstone in there, we can throw that guy in there, and boom, that's lots faster. Nice. We're using 60 instead of 20. So it is using a bit more RF, but it is moving considerably quicker. It's going to get that crafted, and we're not going to have to worry about things, which is great. Absolutely great. 
Okay. Because once that's crafted, everything should calm down and we should drop 60 and 120 and, and zero because that one's not running. Okay. So that's not bad. 220 RF we should drop just when this fills up. Yeah, that's moving a bunch faster. 47 stacks. Okay, jolly good. Um, right, next thing's next. What are we going to work on now? Actually, we might look and see if we've got any... Do we have any chicken? We do not. Roast. We do not. Okay, that's fine. We will eat a steak because we've got a bunch of steak. Cool. That is full. Over to our quarry age. I really, I, I like this world, but I think I would like to create. That is going quite quick now. A um, quarry age, like I've seen in other videos. I'm not 100% sure how to do it. I know you need to add um, a bunch of pages together, which I've got a heap in here. But I don't think I have the right ones. Page unknown. Hmm. How do I discover what they are, I wonder? So we've got huge biome distribution, nether quartz or block, forest, jungle, unknown, orchard, birch forest, accelerated, whatever that is, lightning we don't want, end of starfield we do, it's fine. Spontaneous explosions, we definitely don't want that. And birch forest hills. So we need a bunch more pages. So something I might have to do, which we could probably we could go and have a bit of a look. I don't know whether you guys have watched too much Miscraft. If we go here, uh, we want to hit J and have a waypoint um, new and call that portal. And we will make it bright red as well. Save. Now, there should be a portal here. Jolly good. So now we want to have a look around for some things called libraries. Now, I'm keeping an eye out on the minimap because I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to see them because it's always dark here, which is a pain in the backside. One of the reasons I don't want my quarry to be here forever, I want to find a different land that is flat like this and has no effects like this, um, but I want it to be a mushroom biome. Now, when you put an ender quarry in a mushroom biome, as it eats and changes it to dirt, all the ground changes to dirt and grass. So you can see the difference, which makes life really, really easy for telling where you've placed a quarry, which is really, really handy. Um, I wonder if I was to, um, options, where are we, video settings, just move our render distance up a bit. Back to game, that should show us a few more chunks on the minimap so we can see what's going on. Now, what is this? There's In here, there's lots of little nether fortresses around, which is quite neat, but it's not what I'm after. I'm after libraries. Now, libraries should stand out on the minimap because they look like nothing else, really. What have we got in this ender fortress? Ender fortress, nether fortress. Okay, yeah, the libraries are a distinctive shape. Now, in these libraries, you find all of the miscraft pages, um, but I'm a little bit disappointed that I haven't come across any as of yet. So, who the hell's Gideon Seymour? Hmm, it's an odd name to come across. But yeah, so I'm um, I'm really wanting to find some of these guys because I need a bunch of different pages. Um, to be able to make my flat quarry world but it's looking like it's going to take me some time to find them so what I might do guys is I might actually um, end this here with me on the hunt and then next episode oh an armored zombie all sorts of things um, next episode we'll come back and we will make ourselves a new quarry world there's hopefully day daylight there's hopefully got no ill effects is hopefully a mushroom biome and all those good things so with any luck i will see you next time
Cheers for watching, guys. Like I said, don't forget to hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one.